hey guys and welcome back to day two of three days of tumblr i'm so excited for this valentine's day thing in one and i cannot wait for you guys to see everything that i've planned from the makeup to the hair to the outfit also tomorrow is my birthday so that's double excitement duh anyways before we get into the makeup we need to make sure we're all moisturized and ready for the day without looking ashy anyways let's get into the makeup shall we <laughs> So first off, I start off by priming my skin with this Nivea Men After Shave Balm. Then I go in with this Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder on my oily areas. Sorry for the change in quality, how to change my camera. Alright, so the base to my face, I'm going to take my Zaron Healthy Glow Foundation with SPF 30 in the shade FZ45. Come see, put me on. Guys, this foundation is amazing. It's amazing. Really, really, really amazing. I'm using this Maybelline. Maybelline or Maybelline? I don't know. Using this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser on my highlighted areas and season. Then I'm going to blend it out. Guys, I think blending out your contour and concealer should actually be a spot because my hands were paining me at this point. But then I was actually enjoying it. I didn't mind because it was music. I was dancing. It was just fun. Actually, doing your makeup is fun. So going in with this Adventure Concealer in shade Coffee. I don't know what word I'm going to use to describe it because it's so amazing for contour and it blends so well into your skin. It's so underrated and it's very, very affordable. Trust me when I say very. When I contour, I like my cheekbone profound, my double chin nowhere to be found, my forehead less round, and my nose like I just got them done. So while I was away, I've been trying new brow techniques. So I do my brows after my skin work, and I do not conceal the top. I only clean the bottom. I use the Hega and Esther Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil to draw them, which gives it that natural feeling. Then I use my... Uh, um, Revlon Color Stay Compact Concealer to clean the bottom. So clean up the excess concealer on my brows. I just sprayed setting spray. Uh uh, see where I'm sprayed setting spray. Anyways, I just sprayed setting spray on my on a blending brush and I use it to clean it off. And that's it for my brows basically. So to emphasize on the nose contour, I go in with the same beauty blender I've been using. And the setting powder the loose Mary Kay one to snatch it some more then I set under my eyes because before baking sorry because I'm very oily and then I use a, a powder brush to dust off the excess setting powder under my eyes this is the moment of truth let me just be honest now yeah I do not know how to apply eyeshadow at all I do not know how to apply shadow what i did here was rubbish and i cannot explain what i did what i'm doing rather but then i'll just leave some clips here for you to enjoy the rubbish i was doing you guys know there's no way to apply makeup without doing some funny funny faces like the one i'm doing right now if you know the kind of things i had to edit out <laughs> So going in with into my face contour more, I'm using this powder palette from my color and this angled brush from I really don't know. Let me not say the wrong thing, but if I find it where it's from, I'll put it in the description in the description bar below. I'm talking too much, can't we we'll speak English again? So setting my face with the best setting spray ever and mascarine. Mascarine, is that a verb? Anyway, this voiceover thing is not easy, but mask apply mascara on my lashes i went ahead and did my artificial lashes off camera and aligned my lips and as you can see right now i'm applying highlighter on my face my nose top of my lips and my forehead so we can shine so our haters can see us from miles away <laughs> I'm not teaching you anything, no. Don't go and say it's told me that I said it on her channel. Please be a good girl. Alright, so right now I'm applying blush. Actually, eyeshadow from Juvia's is the masquerade, the mini masquerade palette. And I am using the shade Caro and Zobo. 
so the next and final thing is the lips my babes already know but for those that don't know we only do nude lips over here and i am using the nude huda beauty liquid matte lip stain and i'm going over it with um baby girl accessories lip gloss go check her out on instagram and purchase something link will be in the description bar as always oh suki suki now so we're done with the makeup now so off to the hair let's go girls let's go show them <laughs> So the real ones already know I'm obsessed with this hair. Mind you, this is my second time of filming this video because I didn't like how the first one turned out because of lighting and all. That's why it's already laid and all. But you know anything for my stunning queens? So I have a video where I spoke about this hair in depth on my channel and I'm going to link it in the description box for you all to watch. So I just left these clips in for you guys to see how I was feeling myself, adjusting the wig, you know, getting ready for the outfit. So up next, the outfit. <laughs> Outfit number one is giving me classy vibes and I love it. I won't be telling you where I got it from because it's a secret. And it's a jumpsuit with wide legs but you won't be able to see it because I use my phone to film and there is a little I can do. But if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it on my story. Outfit number two. Oh yeah, oh yeah now. Outfit number two is giving me daring vibes fears and pushing limitations at least for me i'm used to covering up but this dress says forget all that you are ready to go on that day you are ready to take yourself out you are ready to have a good night period outfit number three outfit number three says i am not your mate and my year is different I love a mix and match moment. This is not a set, but I just pair them together. I love the minimalistic vibe it's giving. Classic. The pepper is peppering. So we saved the best for the last outfit number four. Outfit number four, I love the color on my skin. It's the details for me, it's the sleeve for me. I love it so much. It's baby girl, it's eating the girls up at brunch. One word, drooling. Scratch that, gaggling. The girls have lost their edges. Sadly, we've come to the end of the video. Don't forget to mention me on Instagram. I love and appreciate that and do not forget to leave without subscribing i've had enough i've had enough i see some of you on here watching my videos without subscribing so please subscribe to my channels anyway see ya tomorrow maybe um widescreen bye